Hey y'all, so I wanted to do a video on what you can get here for this price versus over here in this town for this price. And I know most of the time everyone loves to do like what you can get in California, what you can get in Alabama, but we're gonna keep it super local and check out the different towns in Baldwin County. Okay, so we're only looking at properties at $350,000, three bedroom, two baths. So here we go. Here's our first property that's in Foley. $349.9, it's a 3-2, and it's 1,700 square feet, small lot, it's in a subdivision. Okay, here's our next property, it's in Old Foley, so we're downtown, so it's built in 1959, it's 2,800 square feet, it's $345,000, it does need a little bit of TLC, but it's going to be a huge lot, no HOA, and you can walk downtown, I love it, it has potential. Here's our last one in Foley, 0.25 an acre, 2,000 square feet. It was actually um, in North Foley, 348.532, typical subdivision house. This is where it gets fun. We're gonna move to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, which are both coastal towns. Huge difference in what you can get for 350. So you've got this house for 350, it's a 3.2. 1696 square feet on 0.25 of an acre. This house is an older home, um, but that's what you get when you wanna live in a resort town. Okay, here's another home in Gulf Shores. So if you are north of the island, you've got a lot of new construction going on. And this is gonna be off of County Road 8, 346, new construction, four bedroom, two bath, your typical 17, 1800 square foot home in a subdivision. Uh, we have a lot of that going on down here and that's gonna be your most affordable um, option to get a new house in Gulf Shores. All right, we are about to get real high class here. We're gonna go to Orange Beach where affordability is almost non-existent. Um, so if you're the average middle class looking for your average home, $300,000, it's not going to happen in Orange Beach um, unless you move into like a townhome or a condo. So this is 350. It's a 32. It's a townhome off of Canal Road, and we're looking at 1,100 square feet. Now, if you want to live close to the water or on the water in Orange Beach, you're probably going to have to go to a condo, and it's going to be a super small studio or one bedroom. This is 347.5. It is a condo. It is 720 square feet. Needs renovations. Um, you know, a lot of these condos are for investments, you know, rental property, but yeah, that's about it for Orange Beach. Unless you want a manufactured home, they do have a couple of those in that lower price range. Moving on to the second most ritzy town in Baldwin County, this would be Fairhope, Alabama. Typically, um, the closer you are to downtown Fairhope, it's a very high dollar. You might, might be able to find a little bit of land under 400,000 with a cute little house. Just like this one, it's 350. It's on Highway 98, 32, I believe it's 1,700 square feet on 2.75 acres. Um, so this is actually a really good deal. I can guarantee you the house might need updates, but um, I would say getting this house right now, sitting on it for a while, fixing it up, you're probably in a good equity spot being in Fairhope for something on acreage. Otherwise, what you're going to find in Fairhope is these typical single family, single one level new construction homes. This is about 2,000 square feet. It's in Fairhope at 351.3 for a 4.2. And here is another 345,000. Again, it's going to be a one level subdivision home, three bedroom, two bath. And we're looking at about 2,000 square feet. So typically in this price range, that's what you're going to get. Don't expect this elaborate beautiful custom modern home in Fairhope that's gonna cost a pretty penny to get that and we are gonna finish this uh, tour on the eastern shore in Daphne and Spanish Fort which typically Daphne is gonna be uh, pretty affordable for the middle-class family very similar to Foley lots of new construction homes though and you've got this one about 348 it's a four bedroom two bath typical new build home all right, here's another one in Daphne, 345,000. This is a 4-2. This is gonna be an older home in a subdivision. A little bit bigger lot than most, 2,100 square feet. Um, so, you know, you'll find, obviously, this probably applies to any town. Uh, the newer the home, the smaller the lot, you know, builders right now are just trying to make money. So if you can find something a little bit older, 
your lot's gonna be a little bit better. You're gonna have more space. Maybe you might have a tree. Okay, so this is one of my, I love Spanish Fort. If it wasn't so far from the coast, I might consider it. But Spanish Fort, you're gonna have a couple of neighborhoods that are gonna give you old character ranch houses. There's some mid-century homes um, up north of the interstate. This is $349.9, should be on the market soon. It's a 33.34, that's a pretty big lot size for a neighborhood, 1,700 square feet. Uh, Spanish Fort, Old Town Daphne, places like that, that's where you're gonna get a lot of character in your older homes. So let me know what price point you wanna look at, what towns, um, I, I wanna do more of these videos because I think it's very important for people moving here to see what you can get in different towns for the price in your budget. Um, people have high expectations, we gotta bring it down a little because we're in a very, very hot county in Alabama and prices, um, they're just not what they used to be.